Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Thailand Outlook, where we bring you the latest insights and stories shaping our nation. Today we're going to be discussing some exciting updates. We have the ancient town of s i t e b achieving UNESCO World Heritage status, Thailand's booming green muscle industry, and a sneak peek into the EEC Cluster Fair 2023, aimed at boosting investment in the Eastern Economic Corridor. Starting off our show today, in a recent announcement, the ancient town of s i t e b and its associated t w a r a w a d i monuments. In uh, p e c h a b u n Province, in the northeastern part of Thailand, has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, making it Thailand's seventh such site. The decision was reached during the 45th extended session of the UNESCO World Heritage Committee in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, and to celebrate this recognition, the Fine Arts Department of Thailand is granting free admission to s i t e p Historical Park. From September 20th to September 24th. Additionally, a special exhibition highlighting the historical park's significance as a world heritage site is being held at the Bangkok National Museum until January 14th of 2024. Now, located approximately 340 kilometers north of Bangkok, p e c h a b u n Province is renowned for its stunning mountainous landscapes. And is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. Welcome back to the show. This is Thailand Outlook. Let's move on with our show. Green mussels, a significant aquatic resource in Thailand, yielded an impressive 51,000 tons in 2022, making them a valuable economic asset. s However, their shells pose an environmental challenge. And in response, Nanotech and STDA, in collaboration with Jula l u n g k o n University and Renew Innovation Company Limited, initiated a project to repurpose green mussel shells. And supported by the National Research Council of Thailand or NRCT, the project aimed to create high-value products from these shells. And their primary focus on calcium carbonate, or CaCO3, a major component of green mussel shells. Constituting over 95% of their composition, and the team successfully developed a water repellent coating for paper, leveraging this calcium carbonate. And this coating enhances the water resistance of paper and serves as a cost-effective filler, reducing the need for imported cellulose-based water repellent coatings. Additionally, this aligns with eco-friendly packaging standards, opening doors to the EU markets, uh, with stringent environmental regulation. And the production process involves several steps, including low temperature heat treatment to p u r i f The production process involves several steps, including low temperature heat treatments, to uh, really purify the calcium carbonate, turning it into nanoparticles for increased surface area, and adding stearic acid to enhance its hydrophobic properties. Additionally, the team created two products. And they include an oil-absorbing sponge and an oil-removing cleaning spray, capitalizing on the oil absorption properties of calcium carbonate. Now, future plans involve developing a coating material for filters to improve oil removal efficiency in uh, dockyard water treatment systems, with funding assistance sought from uh, government agencies. And the team has also explored upcycling other shell types. They have uh, devised a process to extract calcium carbonate from discarded pearl oyster shells, uh, which can find applications in various industries, from serving as an eco-friendly microplastics replacement to becoming an ingredient in toothpaste and a filler in plastic products. And uh, this initiative reflects the biocircular green economy or BCG model's principles, uh, focusing on increasing the value of biological resources. Efficient resource utilization, and uh, of course, environmental conservation. In our final story today, let's discuss the EEC Cluster Fair 2023, which is all about attracting investment into the Eastern Economic Corridor or EEC of Thailand. 
And this event teamed up organizations like the Thailand Convention and Exhibition Bureau, or TSEP, the Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEC office, the Thai Chamber of Commerce, Federation of Thai Industries, and the Tourism Council of Thailand. Now, TSEP stressed the importance of the MICE sector, which stands for meetings, incentives, conferences, and exhibitions in boosting uh, Thailand's economy. They see the EEC as a hotspot for growth, with rising numbers of tourists, business travelers, investors, and expats. Now, Pattaya, uh, which is a city within the EEC, is being upgraded to be a full-fledged MICE city. And as part of the EEC cluster fair, TSEP organized an EEC MICE fam trip to really provide unique MICE experiences to everyone. Participants got to visit places like the EEC Automation Park, focusing on industrial robot technology, and SNC, former public company limited, or SNC, uh, which is really a hub for various products and services. Also, Thailand's strength in the mice sector include excellence, hospitality, uh, diverse food options, and a wide range of mice activities. They're really committed to safety and have upgraded their facilities with hygiene in mind. They're also um, embracing hybrid technology for sustainable event hosting. And this all positions Thailand as the go-to Asia MICE hub, offering exceptional MICE experiences and, of course, event solutions. And that wraps up today's edition of Thailand Outlook. We hope you enjoy these exciting updates that showcase the richness and diversity of our nation. From the ancient town of Si Tape achieving UNESCO World Heritage status to the thriving green muscle industry, and the promising prospects of the EEC Cluster Fair 2023. Thailand is really indeed a place of cultural heritage, economic growth, and investment opportunities. And I'll see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Kwa Chang with Top Tips. สวัสดีครับ The refreshing splashes of Songkran, the majestic lights of Loi Kratong, and much more. Thailand's government acknowledges that there is a place in the new chapter of Thailand among its new opportunities and innovations for traditional Thai celebrations and activities. Brightening the colors and sweetening the sounds, the government is aiding in the updating of traditional Thai activities so that they may continue to enrich the nation in its modern context. Now, as the ASEAN Community Building is an ever-evolving process, the ASEAN 2025, forging ahead together, is a new vision for the next 10 years, as well as a roadmap for ASEAN to realize further consolidation, integration, and stronger cohesiveness as a community. Adopted at the 27th ASEAN Summit in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 2010, in order to chart the path for an ASEAN community where no one will be left behind and everyone will have a stake. These new APSC blueprints envisions peoples and stakeholders of ASEAN to include civil societies and private sectors to play a greater role in the development of the community as a whole. Taking an in-depth look at the ASEAN political security community, the first pillar of the ASEAN community. The APSC, which its members pledge to rely exclusively on peaceful processes in the settlement of intra-regional differences regarding their security as fundamentally linked to one another and bound by geographical location, common vision and objectives. It consists of political development, shaping and sharing of norms, conflict prevention, conflict resolution, post-conflict peace building, and implementing mechanisms. As guided by the ASEAN Charter, the APSC blueprint was adopted at the 14th ASEAN Summit on March 1, 2009 in Cha'am Hua Hin, Thailand. It envisions ASEAN to be a rules-based community of shared values and norms, a cohesive, peaceful, stable, and resilient region with shared responsibility for comprehensive security, as well as a dynamic and outward-looking region in an increasingly integrated and interdependent world community. 
Moreover, the ASEAN political security community covers many key areas of cooperation, such as in the legal and criminal matters, aiming to support and strengthen ASEAN member states' efforts to combat transnational crimes, as well as other transnational challenges, by enhancing cooperation in law enforcement and mutual legal assistance on these matters, as well as in human rights. ASEAN member states share a common interest in a commitment to the promotion and protection of human rights and fundamental freedoms. That is according to the ASEAN Charter, where respect for and promotion of human rights at the regional cooperation among ASEAN member states, relevant nation, and international institutions, and most certainly in matters regarding women, peace, and security. As women's voices and leadership are key to sustaining peace, stability, and development in the region, ASEAN is committed to advancing women, peace, and security, or WPS, as a regional priority agenda. The WPS agenda is guided by the commitments to implement the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1325. And other related resolutions on women, peace, and security. In addition, other key references are the Beijing Platform for Action, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, and the ASEAN Policy Statements, as well as the Plan of Action on the Promotion of Women, Peace, and Security, as well as the Protection of Women's Rights. And lastly. In matters in accordance with principles of comprehensive security, such as non-traditional security issues, resolving differences and disputes by peaceful means, being free of nuclear weapons and maritime-related issues.